We are back for my exclusive interview with a man known as Mr. X. He has already revealed that he is a walk-in, or spirit that has taken the possession of the body of a famous, and recently deceased, media personality and political figure. During our break, members of the viewing audience have submitted questions. Some are of a personal nature but you told me, during the break, that you will answer all questions, to the best of your ability. That is correct. Thank you, sir. First question. Are you the Antichrist? No, I am not. According to the Bible, only a member of the Christian Church can become an Antichrist. I couldn't speak for the previous owner of this body, but... I am not a member of any organized religion. Okay, so you aren't a cult leader or Antichrist type. That leaves us with extraterrestrial, secret societies, Satan worshipper or government agent. Any skeletons in your closet, Mr. X? Well, I could crush you like a bug. But seriously, since we are all from the same source perhaps I can share some of my insights into the question of who is really pulling the strings behind the curtain. Oh, do tell. Well, as you know, Despite the economic meltdown of 2012, it was soon business as usual for years to come. But the public became aware of the true forces influencing human destiny, sentient beings more advanced than you or I. Could you be more specific? I'm guessing little green men, angels or just the old ascended masters? After the triple terrorist attack on San Francisco martial law was declared and before the American people knew it, they were living in a virtual police state disguised as friendly fascism. All part a global plan to bring about a computerized global order and culture. That was the dark side of the conspiracy. Sounds like... We're screwed. Yes, some of us won't make it but life goes on. The best advice I can give is to remember that life is a gift called the present. If what you say is true, then you may be shot in the head as you leave this studio today. My research reveals that you predicted the great quake that occurred in the SF Bay Area a few years ago. The so-called quake of the century. Yes, it's true. Just as I gave evidence that alien beings walked the streets of America unnoticed by most Americans. Big deal, it's an open secret now. I've moved on to bigger fish. Okay, then. I think we are getting to the meat of this show. Stay tuned, folks.